What's up guys, it's Crazy here, and welcome back to another episode of GTA Reviews. Today guys, we're going to be reviewing the Ocelot Stromberg. And this vehicle is the submarine car that you unlock when, well, not, that you unlock the trade price for when you do the submarine recon mission of the Doomsday Heist. And this vehicle comes in at a price of 2,395,000 undiscounted, discounted, and it can hold two people. So the first thing we want to do guys is we're going to go ahead and check out the customization options and what weapons you can put on this vehicle And in order to customize this vehicle like all the other weaponized vehicles in this game You will need an MOC or an Avenger with a vehicle workshop in the back So if you do not have one of those you guys will need to purchase one of those if you do want if you do want to Get the full use out of this vehicle. <clears throat> but the Ocelot is fairly fast on land, but don't expect it to outrun any supercars that are in the import-export DLC, or even just a Lambo, or AK the Centorno. <clears throat> and the performance is decent on the ground, so if you're buying it as something to drive around, it's not too bad. <clears throat> That's not the reason you bought this car. You bought this car because it's weaponized, it's armored, and it can go in the water. So we're going to go ahead and look at the customization and the weapons and the armor. <clears throat> so, when my game decides to load, there we go. <clears throat> you guys can see you guys can fit it with armor. And the armor on this one actually has a purpose. The more armor you guys have on this car, the more missiles it can take. <clears throat> Unlike other cars, where it doesn't work like that. You can put your plates on the vehicle. You can respray the vehicle, whatever color you want. You can add bulletproof tires. But once again, what you want to see, you want to see the weapons. So, what we're going to do is back out. And I'm going to show you guys the weapons. So as you guys saw, there's not many customization options for this car, unfortunately. You can't put spoilers on it. You can just add the underglow. You can change the kind of wheels, basically, and that's kind of it. <clears throat> but the weapons on this car come with it, and it does consist of... Dual... Dual... Uh, dual miniguns. Or dual machine guns, I should say. Even though they're technically miniguns. And they are actually pretty useless, besides the fact that the car is very low to the ground. So if you do have a car that's an SUV, it is going to be very easy to pop the tires if the person you were chasing does not have bulletproof tires. <clears throat> but if you hit square, you, what you can do is you can swap to the missiles. There is homing and non-homing missiles on the Stromberg, so you, got, so you can go ahead and you can blow people up with those. As I'm about to go show you here, if I find somebody to shoot. <clears throat> Cole's over here. Over here next to Evan. So oh, you guys that's can a see cop car. The cop right there. The missiles will fire slightly okay. up and then arc back down towards your target. So you guys do not have to worry about hitting yourself as long as you aren't like on an oh. upward slant or hill. <laughs> Wrong person. Oh, well. <laughs> So you guys can see the missile tracking did get him. <clears throat> so if you're buying this thing for weapons, I would definitely say go for it. But the whole reason you want to buy the uh, weaponized vehicle for fighting is you want it to be weaponized and armored. <clears throat> but sometimes what you need is an important getaway with the weaponized vehicle without being shot out of the sky completely. So what I'm going to show you guys is how you're basically going to be getting away in this vehicle and that is by holding right on the d-pad when you guys oh hit God. water <clears throat> and the car does turn into a submarine oh, fuck. <clears throat> so underwater this car this does become a completely Ow. underwater this car does become a completely different vehicle it cannot use the machine guns while it's underwater and does have the torpedoes which have a really bad range and are extremely slow but what can you ex what do you expect they are torpedoes the turning oh, in this, 
The turning in this vehicle and the handling while underwater is actually rather trashed and only moves <laughs> slightly faster than the Kraken submarine. So to be honest, you're probably better off buying one of those as it is cheaper, but it does not have weapons. So as for the whole submarine purpose of this car, it's more or less a novelty vehicle. And it's really only useful if you enjoy scuba diving and deep sea diving and just having fun with your friends. I call it my <clears> Zentornoi, <throat> uh, Evan. Mine's but faster. right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys... Sure. You got blown up. I'm going to show you guys what happens when missiles are shot at the Stromberg. I'm going to show you guys using normal rockets. <clears throat> uh, I thought I was doing that. Well, you're not here, are you? You have a point. So I'm going uh, to show you guys exactly uh, oh. how much, exactly how many rockets this can take. I believe it can take up to five, but we are going to test that. One. Never mind. <laughs> so as you guys can one. see right there, it took one ah. missile to the body, but that is from a normal rocket and homing rockets. It can take a bit more as long as it doesn't get hit like one. directly in the front towards the motor. If it gets hit in the back, it can take maybe two or three. Sometimes I take up to five when I'm being shot if they don't like directly hit me, but they come close. So that is something that you guys kind of want to experiment yourself with, but considering it's all kind of like luck based and it's based on like the game's kind of like coding, it's kind of hard to show. It's kind of hard to show you guys in an actual video, but that does it for this episode of ZT Reviews, guys. And would I recommend buying this car? Not really if you have the money. If you're definitely going to buy it, what you want to do is you want to wait for the trade price because it's not really that good of a vehicle. And if you want a vehicle as a, if you want a vehicle to go to war with, you're better off just buying the APC as the trade price costs a, only a little bit more and it does offer way more than what the Stromberg does. But that does it for this video of GTA Reviews. If you guys liked it, hit the like button. I will see you guys in the next one.